Now, from Western North Carolina's news leader, this is News 13 at 5. School starts back next month, but are your kids ready? One Asheville psychologist is warning about the stress kids continue to face because of the pandemic. News 13's Caitlin Pinter shows us what doctors are seeing and how parents can help. After a year and a half of virtual learning and little social interaction, doctors say the transition back to normal is tough for some kids. For a lot of people, 4th of July weekend marked one of the first holidays when things looked a lot more like they did before the pandemic. But for kids, especially those who still aren't able to be vaccinated, there is still a lot of uncertainty. There is the concern of what's going to happen when the kids return back to school. Get set, go! Currently, kids under 12 cannot get the COVID vaccine. It is rare that children have any sort of severe disease from COVID. That is definitely rare. But unfortunately, the times when kids do have um, COVID symptoms, they can end up having severe problems. <laughs> Asheville psychologist Dr. Dara Bushman says the last year and a half has had long-term effects on child mental health. The increased anxiety, the worries, uh, depression and sadness, isolation for some. For some kids that may have had some anxieties or concerns or difficulty with socialization before, the pandemic has only maybe delayed them even further. Kids have been socially isolated. They had to adapt to a whole new way of learning. And Dr. Bushman says some kids are now afraid of going back to school. They're definitely feeding off of their parents and the communities. CDC data shows that 2020 mental health related emergency room visits were up 31% for kids between 12 and 17 compared to 2019. Data between February and March of this year showed an even sharper increase for suspected suicide emergency room visits for girls aged 12 to 17 compared to 2019. There's no doubt about the, the hardships and the challenges that the pandemic has brought. Oh, I want to get off. Dr. Bushman encourages parents to talk to their kids to get a better feel of how they are doing. <laughs> If you or someone you know is struggling, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is available 24-7. That number is 800-273-8255. In Asheville, Caitlin Penter, News 13.